Hi Hoopers, Michelle McCoy here, founder of Autumn Flow. So the number one question I get asked by brand new hoopers is what type of hoop should I start with? And when you are first beginning your hoop journey, I know how overwhelming all of the different hula hoop options can be. So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to pick out your first beginner hoop. So the first question you need to answer is what do you intend on learning in your hoop dance practice? If you want to first focus more on on-body hooping, which is where the hoop is rotating around your core. This includes shoulder and chest hooping, waist hooping, and leg hooping. Then you will definitely want to start out with a larger, heavier beginner hoop, such as this one. If you would rather start out by practicing more off body moves, such as escalators, coin flips, isolations, weaves, these are all tricks performed with the hoop in your hand, then you will definitely want to start out with a lighter, more responsive hoop, such as this Poly Pro or maybe an HDPE hoop. And if that is the case for you, I have a whole separate video on how to order your first Poly Pro hoop. My recommendation is to keep a healthy balance of both on-body hooping and off-body hooping in your hoop dance practice because they are both very beneficial and fun. So I really wanna emphasize the importance of picking out the right size hoop to fit your body perfectly. There is no one size fits all. Every hoop is custom made. So when picking out your first beginner hoop, take into account your body type. You wanna make sure that you're going to have enough space inside your hoop to move and explore. And all standard beginner hoops come in 3 4 inch tubing. That is the width of the actual tubing. There's also half inch tubing, which is smaller and thinner, but that's for when you're a little bit more intermediate. So don't worry about that right now. Order a 3 4 inch beginner hoop. And standard is 100 PSI PE tubing. What 100 stands for is pounds per square inch. So PE tubing comes in three different options, 100 PSI, 125, and 160. And these refer to the weight of the hoop. So the smaller the number, the lighter the hoop's gonna be. The larger the number, the heavier it's gonna be. So 160 is the heaviest and 100 is the lightest, which is standard size for beginner hoops. So now that you know to order your beginner hoop in 3 4 tubing, let's talk about how to pick out the diameter of your hoop. And this refers to the measurement from one point of your hoop across to the other. Some hoop shops might measure their diameter by OD, which stands for outer diameter, which would be this point to this point, the outside wall of the hoop. Others might measure by ID, which is inner diameter from this point to this point. As a new beginner, this really doesn't matter, but it helps to just become aware of this for when you become more intermediate and it makes more of a difference in your hoop flow. So my biggest tip for ordering your beginner hoop is to get a big hoop with a big diameter. Standard size is right around 38 inches, but again, this varies so much from person to person and you really want a big hoop because the bigger the hoop, the slower the movement's gonna be, and this will allow you to just slow down and properly learn these basic hoop dance movements with grace and confidence. Beginner hoops also come in a lot of fun different color patterns and a lot of the most common tapes used on beginner hoops include sparkly tapes, electric tape, and gaffer tape is that green one there, 
which gives you a little bit more grip, which is awesome for learning on body hooping. So it's always a lot of fun to pick out your color pattern, but also just keep in mind, as your first hoop, it's really gonna get beat up, you're gonna drop it and scrape it on cement. And just so just keep that in mind when you're picking out a hoop. Don't always base your hoop selection off of just the pattern. Make sure that you're able to get it in the size that you need. Another awesome thing about these beginner hoops is that they collapse down to about a quarter of their size. They have two connection points on the hoop. So to collapse it down, you put your foot on one connection and twist the other at the top of the hoop while slightly pushing it down. You'll get this figure eight and then you just fold one end into the other and there you go. To uncoil it, you just put it back, step on it, help it regain its shape and there you go. So let's do a quick review of how to order your first beginner hoop. First, you need to know your tubing size. And if you're a brand new beginner, you're definitely gonna want three fourths inch tubing. The second thing you need to know is the diameter of your hoop. And you want to get a big hoop. So stay in the range of 38 to 42 inches in diameter, maybe even bigger than that. Third, get a hoop with a pretty color pattern that will inspire you and motivate you to pick up your hoop and practice and rock out as much as possible to progress quickly. So this video was more of a crash course as an introduction to picking your first beginner hoop. If you would like a more in-depth, lengthy explanation of all the different hula hoop options, then check out my online guide to hoop dance course available at autumnflow.com. And I'll also cover in that course all of the basics that you'll need to begin your hoop journey. Thank you for watching and happy hooping.